So we're dealing with the fall army war, which is one of the most damaging pests of uh, many vegetables and corn, soybean and other crops in the American continent. This insect has been controlled in the past 20 or so years uh, by transgenic crops that produce an insecticidal protein. However, this insect has developed resistance in the field to this transgenic corn. So this is a crop that produces a, a protein that is toxic to the insect. So when the insect uh, tries to feed on the plant, uh, it ingests the toxin and, and dies. And we have identified a particular mutation that is responsible for this resistance. We have developed genetic tools that we can use to determine whether an insect carries this mutation and whether it's gonna be able to uh, spread uh, across long distance. The long-term solution that we're trying to develop uh, is a predictive model that would allow us to not only track uh, resistance dispersal, but also be able to predict where resistance is going to hit so that we can customize what particular uh, control measures can be used in a particular region to control the fall armyworm. This insect has also become really important globally now with uh, its introduction into the African continent where it's causing billions uh, worth of damage in, in corn and really threatening uh, global uh, food security. And so we are expecting that uh, the technology that we develop is going to be also helpful in, in the African continent trying to identify particular uh, control measures that we can use to control this pest there. I'm Juan Luis Jurat Fuentes and this is my real life solution. <laughs>